Hey everybody, what is going on? This is Jamila the Killer, and forgive me, this is probably kind of laggy because I lag at spawn sometimes. Um, as you can see, this is my, uh, I'll show you, this is my house in this awesome, whoop, in my awesome house in the spawn area. So let me TP in there really quick, home base. And I will show you around, give you a little quick tour of, of things and such. And Alright, so this is my house that I said was unraidable since I'm in spawn. Got a cool little enchanting table there. If you come down here, I got my own little enchanting room. Uh, right now it's set up for max level 30. Uh, you can kind of adjust things like that to lower your enchant level, which is pretty cool. I've never used that enchanting room, honestly, because I always forget about it and go to the one spawn. You got a brewing stand if I ever figured out how to brew stuff, which I kind of do, but not. Uh, here is my random little chest. I've been farming some nether wart lately just to get some to sell because a lot of people can't find much of it. A lot of it's been kind of stolen from the nether already. Some bottles of enchanting from drop parties and all the good stuff like that. Um, got a disposal here. Whatever you put in that and you close, it's going to disappear. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And now for my chest room, which is about the only last part of it. I got a bunch of pickaxes. You can see a lot of them are this one here, the Unbreaking 2, Efficiency 3, Fortune 1. I am a hero on this server, which means every 24 hours I can do Kit Hero, which gives me uh, one of these picks. It also gives me one of these swords right here, fire two, sharp four. Along with, I also get one of these bows, which is flame one, punch two, power four. And then I also get every day a full set of unbreaking protection two armor. And as you can see, this chest here is pretty cool because everything up here that's set up, that's lined up in the suits is all protection four. And a lot of it is unbreaking three as well. Um, like this one here, it's got unbreaking two and some feather falling, but most it's all protection four, which is awesome. This stuff down here will become protection for eventually. And this is fire for thorns too, which is pretty cool. And this is just a bunch of random diamond armor that I've gotten from raiding people and things like that, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, moving on, drop parties uh, that we don't have too many that we don't, blah, blah, blah. we don't have many anymore that often. I don't even know what I'm trying to say there. Uh, this is all from drop parties. Uh, I got like two full rows of it and my coworker chief who got a bunch as well, so. And then I mine some ice with my silk touch pick. Right here, as you see, I got this my random kind of valuable chest, I guess. Gas tier. I have 31 beacons because I had 64 nether stars. And I don't know how to get nether stars. I just raided them from a base a long time ago. And I just found out what they were for. So I made some beacons and sold a few and things like that. So Got some enchanting tables from raids as well. And as you see, this server does have the silk spawner plugin. Uh, as long as you're VIP or hero, you can mine these with a silk touch pick. And I do make quite a bit of money off of those. So, Because they sell in the shop for minimum of like 20000 for a sheep, I think, or 30000 Most mobs are 40000 so I usually sell them for ten to 15 That's what people usually pay in the auction for them. As you see, I see all this food. Now I have all these books. These are laid out by level. And I threw away a bunch because my th chest was pretty full. Only keeping the really good ones that I really want. Uh, these are laid up by levels one, two, three, and then I got levels four and five down here. Protection four, which is awesome. Power four, feather falling four. I got a lot of feather falling, and then and then blah, 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 level five, power five, efficiency five, sharp five is about all you can really get. And this bow, which is in here, because I'm not sure if this is a legit bow or not. I checked the wiki, and the bow says that. Um, Flame 1 is as high as you can go on the bow, but this is Flame 2, which I raided this from someone's base, so I don't know if that's legit or not. I want to figure it out. I'm sure it is, and the wiki might just be wrong. I don't know. And as you see my ender chest here, I have three books by MLG Nate, the guy that's in my faction. He just gives me books all the time. Uh, I got these golden apples that Chief Yahoo got from a drop party. He got like seven stacks of apples, so he gave me a few. And I have a ton of diamond blocks because, as you saw, if you saw the previous server review... You can get 96 diamonds a day for voting. You can vote six times on different websites. Uh, he did recently change that yesterday, I believe, down to like 20 or 25, which I think is good. So diamonds aren't really just worthless on the server because um, they are pretty worthless. So uh, then I don't know if I went up here or not. Boop, boop, boop. And I got this, all these potions in people's heads that when the plugin was installed, I was able to get. Now, uh, like I said, this house is basically is unraidable. Uh, even if someone were to get in, if I were to let them in on purpose or accident, they're not able to open my chests. Now uh, they're coded for just myself and Chief Yahoo, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, so let me show you my faction home. 
and this is a, uh, I guess if anyone comes on the server and sees this, uh, try to find my faction home. Um, it is deep underground, under lava and water, as you can hear, and you can see the lava tools. Not really anything in here. I don't really, I don't use this. I keep everything in my actual house. Um, but people in my faction, uh, like uh, the Sail Gi, Latina Larry, MLG Nate, and J Black Belt, all use the. I don't know if they use this, but they've been here before, and so. That's that, as you can see. Um, this is my name right here, FBGSTD, which is a play on these guys here. Slash F who. Uh, these guys were a bunch of d bags, basically. They, they're just douchey. Uh, Manuel was banned and Marlo was banned. They are the same people on their own accounts. They got banned for uh, hacking. Uh, not so much hacking. Just there's a there's a parkour area on this map, parkour world, where you can buy feathers before you start for like $800 and you can sell them at the top for a thousand so you only get 200 bucks is not much but uh, he, Emmanuel set his home up there and was able to just TP back and forth and just make an infinite amount of money uh, the owner found out and banned him for that and, and then made it where you can't set spawn or TP inside there Grom's kinda cool, Adams is a D-bag <laughs> this guy I don't really know much, Toilies he can be cool and I have no idea who that is that's probably another one of Emmanuel's accounts but that's alright um, yeah, so that's that's about it. Um, I can set up to eight homes because I'm a I'm a hero, so that's cool. So I can kind of TP into people's houses. Let's go. I guess go look around. This is my Nether Wart farm. It's kind of laggy. I'm sorry. Every time I TP, it just lags me for some reason. Uh, all right, no, not gonna buff out. Come on, now my computer's better than this. Whatever. Um, so yeah. It's my other wart farm. It's not done yet. What other homes do I have? I have USC. Yeah, it's about it, really. Uh, so that's that, guys. I just wanted to give you a brief little show rundown of my house and my other stuff. Yeah, see, they're buffed out. And then spawn, I like a lot. And for some reason, after he changed a bunch of stuff, he spawned an Ender Dragon and one's outside of spawn, and it just destroyed half the castle, which was kind of funny. So. Yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little walkthrough of my house. Um, see if I can find some more bases. I will set up some raiding videos for you. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.